What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, like you guys read in the title, we're going to be talking about the truth behind trading stocks in the stock market. And I know a lot of you guys, if you haven't got into trading yet, you probably think that trading, all it is is you buy a stock and you make $10,000 in 5 minutes, you know, you buy a stock and you sell it the next day, you triple your money. These are the things that you think, right? You probably don't understand a lot of the different truths behind trading stocks and this is what this video is meant for right from my perspective I'm going to be sharing with you guys through my experiences in the stock market for several 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 years now you know what I personally think a lot of people are missing so if you enjoyed this video feel free to go down below hit that like button consider subscribing if you want to see further content for me and let's get right into it guys so the first point I want to share with you guys today is that it takes a lot of time to become profitable in the stock market. Going back to the preconceived... Oh, to that preconceived notion that people have before getting into the stock market that, you know, you make a lot of money right off the bat, there's no trial and error, you pretty much just put money in and you make a lot of money, right? That's a preconceived notion and that is what people think when they come into it, believe it or not, right? They think, not everybody obviously, but most people think that it's a get-rich-quick scheme, but the reality is that you need to put time in every single day that the market is open to study charts to keep up with economic trends know where we are in the cycle what to expect in the next couple of months right you know keep an eye on news what is happening with certain companies earnings you know are the companies losing earnings? Are the earnings going down year over year? These are very, very important things that you just have to diligently keep your hand on, diligently keep up with, or else you're just going to be left behind, to be completely honest, guys, because a lot of people out there in the community, the traders out there, investors, people that do well, you know, they're doing this every single day. They always know what's going on. They're on top of their game. And without this, you know, without putting in that time the research, the studying, you know, the truth is, guys, it's, it's, it's a sad truth, but the truth is, the, the blunt truth is that you're not going to be successful if you're not putting the time in. So the key point and the key truth really is that it takes a lot of time to become profitable. And in this time, you have to be relentless, guys. You're going to experience losses. You're going to experience setbacks. And through these setbacks, through these losses, you cannot quit. You have to keep moving with that goal in mind of becoming a profitable, successful trader one day, right? This goal should be in the forefront of your mind and you should be working towards it every single day, right? And once you're getting there, once you're on that path, once you're doing this research that I talked about, keeping up with economic data, keeping up with news, keeping up with companies, keeping up with the global environment, global business, everything, right? Once you're keeping an eye on all of this stuff and you're getting accustomed to doing the research, you'll start to experience some success and you'll realize, wow, I'm putting the time in, I'm doing the research necessary, I'm putting in what needs to be put in to get that end result and I'm starting to see some success so if I'm on this right path which you are on the right path if you're doing that you know I could get to that goal one day so that is the number one truth let's talk about the second so the second truth about trading in the stock market that I want to share with you guys is that it messes with your emotions heavily in the beginning stages of your career whether that be the first couple of months the first year the first two years you know these emotions heavily mess with you until you learn how to conquer them and tame them right that's the whole thing here once you learn how to conquer and tame your emotions with comes with which comes with experience, you know, that will actually help you in becoming a better trader. But the truth is, not everyone gets to that point of taming their emotions. And let me share with you guys my personal experience very quickly, right? And with emotions comes something very crazy, right? Because with emotions, seeing your stock 
if you're buying a stock and then seeing its performance, your mind will do a lot of irrational things at first, right? When the stock, let's say you buy that stock and it starts to fall down 1% at first, right? 1% and you see your money start to go in the red. You know, your mind, your emotions, they're going to start to panic. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm losing my money. What do I do now? And in this state of mind, you can potentially make an irrational decision of selling that stock right and then and there for a loss, right? When your original stop loss, let's say it was at 2 2%, 2.5%, whatever it may be, since it went red a little bit, right? 1%, 0.5%, you started to panic. You were like, screw that plan. Instead of letting it ride out, maybe it comes back up. I'm just going to dump it right now and take the loss, right? That's a sense of emotion right there. That's being very, very emotional. Another thing could be the emotion of greed, right? Greed is a huge emotion when it comes to trading stocks, which is why I'm huge on locking in profits, whether that's a 0.5 to a 1% profit based on my personal strategy and based what I personally do. But a lot of people that start out, you know, let's say they hit a good trade. Let's say they hit a jackpot trade for that day. They're up 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15% on their position. This emotion of greed can come in. And this emotion, guys, can ruin you because you can be up 6, 10% on a position, 15% on a position, and greed comes in right greed comes in good old greed and greed's like oh my god no no don't sell out don't take your profits the money it's going to come man it's, there's going to be more gains in this position just hold it you're going to get 20 percent, 25 percent, and then you know what happens guys since you listen to that greedy emotion you know that stock will drop and you'll leave a lot of money on the table because you didn't lock in your profits when the stock was up, right? So greed can bite you in the butt just as much as panic selling when, let's say, the stock dips a little bit and you didn't let it wiggle out, shake out, you know, and you sell your money, right? Or you sell your position in that case. But greed, guys, it's huge, right? If you're up 10 15%, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is just not to listen to greed. Be like, I'm up 10 15%. This could be a good time to lock in profits and reevaluate the situation, let's say, if it did dip. But, you know, if you, if you leave money on the table, let's say, you know, you get out at 10% and it goes up 20% and you're like, dang it. The way you have to think in this case is I locked in my profits. I'm profitable for the day. I could have been red. There, there could have been a lot worse scenarios in my account today. I'm up 10%. I'm good, right? That's how you have to think about it and be like, I'm focusing on the next trade right now. I'm not focusing too much on that money that I could have gotten, right? So that is the second um, truth, the second point that I wanted to talk about today, emotions. You have to learn how to harness them. You have to learn how to deal with them, with the greed emotions, with selling, panic selling, all these different things. FOMO is another one, also known as fear of missing out. So let's say a stock is running up, it's up 20%, and you just hop in at the top just thinking it's going to go higher, right? And then it ends up dumping. You lose a ton of your money there. When you see a stock up, guys, fear of missing out is going to come in, and you just have to tell yourself and be rational about it and try to leave emotions out of it and be like, be rational, be like a robot and be like, is this a good time to get in? It's very overbought. It's up 15, 20%. And most of the time, if you're thinking rationally, you're not going to get into that stock, right? And the whole idea kind of is to take emotions out because in the first one to two years or however long it takes for you to conquer your emotions, these emotions are going to heavily influence your decisions. And the whole idea is to take those emotions out out of the decision making and make rational decisions and kind of view yourself as a robot, right? In a sense. And that is the second point, the second truth in trading in the stock market. So the third truth about trading stocks is that it can get a bit lonely some at times. And I do personally come from a corporate background. I've worked at two previous companies in my in the past couple of years. And in those companies, guys, before I started to do trading, this e-commerce stuff I do on the side, and YouTube full time, you know, before I started doing what I'm doing here, I was in a, I was at a job where I was interacting with people in the morning, you know, eight in the morning to 12, you know, we'd go to lunch and all this kind of stuff. But now that I'm doing my own thing here with trading, you know, I'm trying to start my own brand. I'm doing all these different things with e-commerce, you know, 
I'm not really talking to anybody, right? I'm at my desk. I'm at my little office here. I'm doing my work, obviously trading, you know, doing other stuff that I'm involved with. And I'm not really talking to people. And this is actually one of the main reasons why I started the Strive Smart community, right? The, the community we have, the group chat, you know, everybody in, uh, talking in the comments, all these different people. You know, this is one of the main reasons was because I was honestly lonely, guys. And I wanted to talk to people about trading. None of my family or any of my friends that I'm actually, you know, that I that I talk to, you know, they're not really involved in trading specifically. So I wanted to have an outlet where I could talk to people and this is pretty much it, right? The YouTube channel, the Discord group chat, all the social medias, you know, it's awesome to have built this community. But starting out, just know that it is a bit lonely, right? In the morning, you're doing your research, you're looking at news, you're keeping up with charts, all of these things, you know, and unless you're in a community, like our community, which is linked down below, by the way, the Discord group chat, you know, you may not have people to reach out to and people to talk to, people to interact with, bounce ideas off of, you know, if you're just alone, right? And that's the truth about it, right? It's not too crazy, you know, I'm an introvert, to be completely honest with you guys. I like being alone. I know a lot of people are extroverts, so I guess for me, it's a bit easier, you know, adapting to this lifestyle, but for others that are extroverts, it might be a true that may deter you from actually doing this as a career path, doing this full time or doing this at all, to be completely honest with you guys, right? So I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. And just to quickly do a recap, the first truth was it takes a lot of time to become profitable and you have to put in a lot of work, a lot of research and a lot of daily, just relentless grind work to get to that point where you can become profitable. The second truth is that it messes with your emotions. Trading in the stock market can mess with your emotions heavily, and this can affect your trading until you tame those emotions. The third truth is that at some times it can be a bit lonely. So being involved with a community of traders, having that group to talk to, to bounce ideas off of, it could be very, very good at times. And it's really awesome to be a part of a community like that. So that is really it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to go down below and hit that like button, drop a comment. Let me know. What do you guys think about this? Have you experienced any of these different things? What are your experiences with the stock market and subscribe to the channel? If you haven't done so already and join our strive smart discord group chat and our strive smart Facebook group, all of those are linked down below as well as my Twitter and my Instagram. So I appreciate all you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.